So you agree there's a central Jersey. There is definitely a central Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. This video is gonna be a little bit different than some of my other videos. I'm actually going to be starting a new series where I highlight local and small business owners. I wanna sit down with them, chat with them a little bit, understand a little bit about their journey, how they started the business, why they started the business, what services do they offer, so that I can share all that information with you. Right now we're in quarantine, so I plan on sitting down with these business owners via video conference. Um, and then hopefully as we move forward, if this is the kind of content that you guys are enjoying, you're enjoying these videos, you know, I love supporting local and small businesses, um, then when everything starts to open up, maybe I can continue these in the future and actually meet with business owners at their place of business and highlight them there. This video series is going to be in addition to the other videos I already post every single week. You know, I post a real estate related video on Mondays and then I do my market updates on my Facebook Live every Friday. And these videos really are not gonna have a set release schedule. It's just gonna be as I'm able to meet with new, new and different business owners, you know, I'll release the videos out. So just keep an eye on it. And if you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell, and then you'll get notified every time I release one of these videos. If you yourself are a local and small business owner here in central New Jersey, whether you're open during the pandemic or not, doesn't matter. Um, and you'd like to be highlighted on this channel, go ahead and reach out to me. I've got my contact information below. Um, you know, call me, text me, email me. I'd love to chat with you and offer your business some additional exposure out here to everyone. In this week's video, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Sarah Sinan. She is a life and leadership coach here in New Jersey. She shares a little bit about her journey, why she started the business, and how she helps clients today. Sarah works with corporate clients, one-on-one -on -one clients. She works with people for their personal life, for their business life, and everything in between. She's really fantastic, and I really enjoy sitting down and chatting with her. So I hope you enjoy. Hi, Sarah. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, Samantha. It's a pleasure. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So let's talk, let, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm really curious for you to share with everybody a little bit about your story and why you do what you do and sort of your journey to get there. Mm -hmm. So I spent 13 years at a very um, popular big box retailer, Target. Um, and I was working there for, I started right out of college and I worked my way up and was very passionate about leadership and I was running stores for them. And I realized it really was not what I was super passionate about when I was about nine years into my career. So I decided if I'm going to leave, I want to leave for something that I really love doing, not just another job, but I didn't know what that was. So I just started writing this like job description out. So I was like searching and I had this job description in notes on my phone for a few months. And then I was at a self-development event because that's something I'm very passionate about. And there was a guy up there talking and he was literally talking about how he got to his job and like going through my list. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what's this job? And he was a life coach. So I started doing research. I had a life coach and I was like, this might be something. So I ended up completely just following my gut and I enrolled to get my certification to be a life coach. And then I was certified in 2016. And then I took three years to build my business out and really get clear on what my niche was. And here I am. I left my job last year and this has been my full-time thing. Wow. Congratulations. That's an amazing Thank you. story. It was like, he was talking right to you, right? Yeah. It was insane. Like it was literally my exact bullet points. I was like, how is this even possible? <laughs> it was so cool. Yeah. I find that in life, sometimes that's ha that happens. Like you something in life and you get approached by the situation. You're like, wait, wait, is that for me? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm grateful when that does happen. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you share with everybody what you do? Yeah. So I'm a life and leadership coach. Um, so I, I can help people in corporations. I have a lot of knowledge from my 13 years being a middle manager at Target, but then I also, I'm really passionate about supporting women just really before the situation that we're in in life with the pandemic, it was really about getting women out of their autopilot because I found that a lot of women were kind of, they followed the rules and they woke up one day and said, wait, I followed all the rules, but I don't feel good here. And I just want to feel better in my life. So mm -hmm. that was where I was. And right now what I'm finding over the last few months, it's shifted a little bit where I'm helping my clients not only get out of the autopilot, of their lives before, but getting out of the autopilot of life right now, being in quarantine, and then how do they shift forward because we're going into a new normal and really helping them decide what that new normal is so that they're comfortable moving through their life because there's so much that's uncertain right now. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that that's um, such a good point to kind of 
uh, talk about with everything going on. And, you know, you and I were chatting a little bit before we started recording, like how to pivot, how to pivot in life, how to pivot in business and things like that. I think more and more people, you know, are, are seeking out or, or in need of that type of service right now. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's what I'm finding a lot with my clients that I'm working with now, there's a lot of fear and we don't have something to draw back on. So I'm helping them kind of release the fear and make a plan that's specific to them as they move through. Because I think if there's ever a time to not follow the status quo, it's now. And right now we don't really have a status quo with shifting forward in life. So it's really saying, okay, what's comfortable for you? What do you need? What are your values? What are your needs? And how do you decide your next few steps that you feel comfortable? Because that's what people are craving is the comfort in so much discomfort and so much uncertainty. And then we make that specific custom plan for them. Yeah, that's great. And, and that actually brings me up to one of the questions I had was, I think a lot of people think about this, like you're talking about advising them and talking through issues and things like that. So it sounds a little bit like therapy, but it uses coaching. So what exactly is the difference between coaching and therapy? Yeah, there's a huge difference with the two. So I think there's a time and a place for both, 100%. Um, I've been in therapy, I've had coaches, so there's definitely a time and place. Therapy is more back-facing, a lot of times dealing with trauma and saying, okay, why is something from the past continually coming up? That's where you're going to go to therapy. A coach is going to say, okay, we want to move forward. How do we move forward by releasing limiting beliefs, make the plan, the accountability? And I like to use the analogy that you know, um, life coaching is like a personal trainer and therapy is like a physical therapist. A lot of times they target the exact same things, but sometimes you need therapy before you go to a life coach, just like you might need physical therapy before you go to a personal trainer. And there might be more damage done if you kind of go out of order, but sometimes somebody mm -hmm. might never need, you know, physical therapist and they can go right to the personal trainer. So it's really knowing what your limitations are. I love that. And I have to say like, that just made a huge sound because I love that analogy. I never thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a time and a place for both. And then sometimes you work with both. There's people that mm -hmm. work with physical therapists and personal trainers. So mm -hmm. you can work with a coach and a therapist at the same time. And it might just be different topics. What's going on in the past, resolving that. And how do I move forward in a different area of your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you work with people, not just on a personal level, on a business level, you work with leadership, Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about, you know, the different clients that you work with. Yeah. So um, I end up talking with my clients, whether they're more um, leadership based or personal. Like if somebody comes to me just one-on-one -on -one or they come through a company, a lot of times it's the same exact topics. There's a limiting belief that's holding them back. And how do we move forward? And where does that come from? Within business, it might be, how do I step into my leadership power more? How do I have um, deliver tough conversations to my team? How do I help myself prioritize and then help my team prioritize? In life, it might be a mom coming to me. How do I prioritize my life? So I've had like, there's so many similarities or somebody saying, I want to, you know, uh, move forward on a business plan, or I feel like there's a self confidence gap. So a lot of times it's really similar stuff, but the language might be a little fancier in the more business setting when I get somebody that's more corporate, but it's the same things underneath because I'm really helping people tap into what they're capable of, but then removing whatever it is that is blocking them, their limiting beliefs or something they were told when they were younger and how do they shift past that? Yeah. And I think that's such a good point too, that there is no one specific type or stereotype or person or situation yes. that you're working with. You're, it's a variety and the needs and the desires and the goals of everybody is different yes. and you're able to tailor, you know, what you do to what their needs are. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So, I mean, during these challenging times that we're faced with right now, are you continuing to work? Or are you continuing to work with your clients and how are you doing that? What does that look like? Yeah. So, um, one way has been the same. I've always done all my sessions over the phone and that's been something that people love because then it allows them a lot more time flexibility. They're not spending, you know, half an hour to commute and then a half an hour to commute home. So I've always been on the phone and I'm continuing doing that. The one area that I've shifted significantly, I used to do a lot of in-person workshops and events and obviously that's changed, but I found that I'm, I'm loving Zoom. I really like this platform and doing workshops. So I've switched over and done more workshops on Zoom, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. So that's been actually kind of fun because it's just, it's a whole different arena. So that's how I've had to shift. Yeah. I know that in my experiences with coaches too, I find that you're like, you had said it perfectly earlier, that limiting belief, you know, sometimes you know what you're supposed to do, 
but do you hear it out loud by somebody else? You don't. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That accountability sometimes. And that to me, I, I just believe is, is worth every penny and more. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the two things together, because I've told people, I've had so many people come to me and I'll use weight loss as, as an example. If somebody wants mm-hmm. to lose weight, you know, they'll, they'll be like, you know, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, do you really not know what to do? And then like, you can Google for weight loss, for starting a business, you can get a plan on Google in 2.2 seconds, or you can go on Instagram and find somebody who's selling their plan on a PDF for like 1999, right? A lot of times it's not a matter of the plan. It's what's holding you back limiting belief wise that you think you're not capable. And then the accountability piece. So when you remove that limiting belief and you have somebody holding you accountable, like I've seen people stall for years and then like skyrocket through change in six months Mm -hmm. because of those two things combined. So it's really, it's like, it's amazing to be a part of, and it's amazing to see. I've seen it. I've experienced it myself with coaching in, in other situations, and I have seen it as well. So for anybody out there that is watching this, that is sort of on the fence, I can tell you firsthand, coaching yeah. does work. <laughs> Obviously, you answered one of my other questions was, you know, are you open right now? Obviously, you're still working, you're u- utilizing Zoom and everything like that. So if somebody wanted to contact you and reach out to you to start up that coaching relationship, they can mm-hmm. do that, correct? Yeah. So they can send me an email on my website. They can also set up a complimentary session. So I do a 30 minute session where we just kind of talk about what's going on for the person. And then really they can ask me any questions around my own background. And then we can like actually practice out coaching because it is such a personal relationship. So I always want to like, make sure, okay, are we both a good fit for each other? And then kind of make that decision from there. Um, but I offer a variety of packages. I'm actually on a sliding scale right now as well, due to the times that we're in. So um, I have, we can like build a package. I used to only do like this assessment that I offer that allows people to kind of see who they are when they're not stressed and then who they are when they um, are stressed, which is mm. amazing. And very helpful right now. I should do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, it's, it's actually like it's present time. So if you took it now and then six months from now, your results are going to be different. It's not a personality assessment. So I always offer that one off. And then I did my full po- coaching package. But what I found right now is people need more choices so we can build your own package and then i am working on a sliding scale as well that's nice i'm I'm happy to hear that you customize it for everybody because like we were saying earlier Mm -hmm. these needs you know they're different yes um so i mean i'm we're in new jersey we're in central jersey do you only have clients here in new jersey or or do you where do you serve i have a lot of clients in new jersey just because that's where i've been doing a lot of my workshops but i've had clients in seattle i've had clients up in massachusetts down in florida so i've had people find me i've actually done some console calls with people in australia um oh, that's so cool. like, <laughs> yeah it's really cool but like the time difference is a little bit crazy so i can work with anybody anywhere but i find that i do get a lot more people from new jersey which is fine i, I love new jersey i love everywhere but I'm a Jersey girl, so it's near and dear to my heart. I was say, were you born in New Jersey? Yes, Jersey City, and then I've lived in North Jersey, Central Jersey, and then South Jersey, and now I'm back in North Jersey. So I. So Sarah, I have to ask because I am in a world where there are tons of coaches, and I see it all over my Facebook feed and my emails and all the time. Um, what makes you different as a coach? Why should somebody do business with you? So I really believe in the practical, right? And I think a lot of times people are going to like, they sell these big dreams. And I've, I've been on console calls with coaches when I was looking for coaches back in the past. And they sell these big dreams and these like big plans. And I don't think that's how you get changed. So I really approach every single client very individually, get really clear on what they want. And then I'm really big. Like my tagline is small choices lead to extraordinary changes because mm. any change that anybody has ever made in their life, it was never an overnight change. And if there was a radical overnight shift, it wasn't long lasting. So it's really about small change, small change, small change and stacking them. And that's where you get like the really big changes that we're after in our life. And I help my clients really make those small purposeful choices and changes and then celebrate as they do that. And then they have sustainable change. And then they can look back five years, 10 years, 15 years later, and the change is still in their life. And that that's my goal is so that we can put the things in place in your life and then they're good and they have what they need and they have a toolbox. I'm not interested in somebody working with me for two, three, four years as, as much as I'd love it, but I really want to give somebody the tools they need to put the changes in place and then be on, like be self-sustainable. That's right. Yeah. Because I think a lot of the people I see, a lot of the coaches, they try to sell you on, you know, same as the diet industry, right? They try to sell you on these quick results and be a millionaire overnight and be mm-hmm. happy by tomorrow and, you know, lose 40 pounds in 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> These like crazy, unrealistic yes. expectations. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so I love, thank you so much for sharing that. I love the fact that you set realistic, achievable goals and you walk them through step by step. That's, I think yes. that's great. Yeah, it makes a big difference. I have all of your contact information. If anybody's interested in reaching out to Sarah directly, I have all of her contact information um, below, but why don't you give a little shout about the best way to reach out to you or to contact you? Mm -hmm. So my website is sarahwahibasanan.com and then my Instagram, that's really where I have, like that's my social media of choice. It's sarahwahibasanan. So um, everything's gonna be down in the notes, the spelling and everything. And then you can reach me at email, which is sarah at sarahwahibasanan.com. Great. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Samantha. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And a huge thank you and shout out to Sarah again for sitting down and chatting with me for a few minutes and sharing a little bit about what she offers and her journey and her story. As I mentioned, I have all of her contact information in the description box below, as well as a link for a free complimentary session. Be sure to reach out to Sarah. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week, whether it be real estate, market updates, or another local business highlight. And if you yourself, again, are a small and local business here in Central New Jersey and you'd like to be highlighted on this channel, please reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. And I'll see you in the next video.